Okay, so we're going to test for the halide ions in solution. So I've got three test tubes, so chloride, bromide, iodide. You can see that they all form colourless, clear solutions. So to tell the difference between them, you need to add some silver nitrate solution, which will form a precipitate. But before we do, we're going to add some nitric acid. And nitric acid is going to react with any other ions that would also react with the silver ions. Okay, so that might be carbonate ions, or it might be sulfite or hydroxide ions. So you just need a couple of drops. Um, if there is anything there, if there's any carbonate ions there, you might see some fizzing. But I don't think we've got any carbonate ions there. Okay, so that's that part of the test done. The second thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some silver nitrate solution. Okay, so silver nitrate contains silver ions and nitrate ions. So the reason we chose nitric acid is because nitric acid also contains nitrate, nitrate ions. So it's not going to interfere with the test. Um, and what the silver ions does in solution is it reacts with the halides to form a precipitate, which is a solid. So we should see that happening. Now you'll see when the silver nitrate gets added, the colour of the precipitate. So that's chloride. Chloride should form a white precipitate. Bromide is next. And that forms a cream precipitate, a slightly darker white. Um, and then lastly, iodide forms a yellow precipitate. So it's sometimes difficult to tell the difference between the bromide and iodide colour. So a further test that you can do is to see if the precipitate re-dissolves in ammonia. And we're going to start off with the chloride precipitate. And if you add dilute ammonia, first of all, as a test, what should happen in dilute ammonia is that the chloride should re-dissolve re and form a colourless solution, which we've got there. The bromide doesn't re-dissolve in dilute ammonia and the iodide also doesn't re-dissolve in dilute ammonia. So we've still got a problem because we need to tell the difference between the bromide and the iodide. So as a further test what you can do is add some concentrated ammonia to the bromide and the iodide to see if they re-dissolve. So if I add some concentrated ammonia to the bromide going slowly. So what should happen is that the bromide will re-dissolve in concentrated ammonia. Maybe needs a little touch more. There we go. So the bromide re-dissolves in concentrated ammonia, <coughs> but I do the same with the iodide. And just to be fair, I'm going to give it the same amount. The iodide doesn't re-dissolve. 